Okay guys, what's up? It's Nick from MigratIphon.com and I wanted to make this real quick video because I've had a ton of comments asking me uh, what device do I have, um, blah, blah blah blah, if it can be jailbroken and so on. So I wanted to make this video to answer those questions. Now I only have an iPhone 3GS and an iPod Touch 1st gen. I do have an iPod Touch 2nd gen but uh, my sister is using it so, well it's, her, it's my sister's really but she lets me use it a lot so. But I'm going to um, just show you real quick with these two devices and basically uh, what model you need to be jailbroken, jailbreaking um, and so on. So let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to go over is the iPhones. Now, uh, if you're on 3.1.2 and you're currently already jailbroken, then um, it's not really worth you uh, um, updating your firmware. You might as well just stay there and wait for like a more developed firmware. But if you're on 3.1.2 and you're not jailbroken, this also goes for you guys that are on 3.1.3 and want to jailbreak. Now for the iPhones, of course iPhone 2Gs, the first gen iPhones can be done. No problems there. The iPhone 3Gs, again, also can be done. But it's the iPhone 3GSs like this one right here, which you have problems with. Now basically... If you're an iPhone 3GS user and you're on 3.1.2, there is a tethered jailbreak for those guys on 3.1.2 and have the newer boot ROM. And to find out if you have the newer boot ROM, you need to go to your settings and we go settings, we go general, about, and you scroll down and you go to your serial number. Now it will be your fourth and fifth digit so my serial number is right here you go to your fourth and your fifth digit in your serial number and if it is 45 or above then you have a newer boot ROM if it's 45 or above in the in the fourth and the fifth digit of your serial number you have the newer boot ROM and for 3.1.2 firmware if you want to jailbreak that it will be a tethered jailbreak if it's 3.1.3 and you want to jailbreak it and you have a 45 or above number in the fourth and fifth digit of your serial number for your iPhone 3GS then you will not be able to have a tethered jailbreak at all there is no jailbreak for the new boot ROM on 3.1.3 however there is a tethered jailbreak for the 3.1.2 so I hope that is very clear for you guys I'm trying to make it as clear as possible for you guys that don't really know much <laughs> I don't want to make you like sound like dummies but if you don't know much about iPhones or anything, then I hope that was clear enough for you. Just to go over it again, if you have an iPhone 3GS and you're on 3.1.2 and you're not jailbroken, and your if you go to your serial number, which can be found in Settings, General, About, and you scroll down to your serial number and you see that your fourth and fifth digit in on your serial number is 45 or above, then you have a new boot ROM. Now this is a tethered jailbreak for you new boot ROM users on 3.1.2 but is there is no jailbreak at all for new boot ROM on 3GS users for the 3.1.3 firmware. So bear that in mind guys. Now for the iPod Touch, now like I said this is a first gen but pretty much the same thing. Um, I'm just going to show you with the iPod anyway. Now for your iPod Touch users, for 3.1.2 again if you're on 3.1.2 and you're not jailbroken and you have an MC model, an MC model, the newer version, or an iPod Touch 3rd gen, you can be tethered jail you can have a tethered jailbreak. So pretty much like the iPhone 3GS and 3.1.2, you can have a tethered and you can also have a tethered for the MC model or the new 3G iPod Touch. Now to find out if you have an MC model, you want to go to your back of your iPod Touch, sorry for the glare guys you wanna, let's just turn this light off real quick, let me see I oh, know you can't see me at all, right so you wanna go to the back, sorry for the glare again you need to go to the back and on the back it will say model number you won't be able to see it but it will say model number and the first two letters of your model number if it's an MC model will say MC basically meaning it's an MC model and um yeah that's pretty much it guys that's how you find out if you have an MC model of course if you have an iPod Touch 3rd gen again that will be an MC model so if you're on 
and you want to jailbreak your MC model, it will be tethered. And like I said, look on the back, it will say model number and it will say MC if it's an MC model. If it's not, this one says A1. Um, I'm not sure if that works for all devices, I'm not sure. But mine says A1, so mine is not an MC model, of course, because it is a first gen. Um, and if you're on 3.1.3 and you want to jailbreak, Again, there is no jailbreak for the MC model. It is not supported yet. Um, they are looking into Tether jailbreaks, so I'm not sure. Um, uh, I could say they probably won't because they probably want to hold back for the new iPhone and the iPad and don't really want to release it for those guys because they're probably working on the iPad and the uh, new iPhone currently now. So... If you're on 3.1.3 and you want to jailbreak and you have an MC model and an iPod Touch 3rd gen, you cannot be jailbroken at all. But if you have an iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, an iPhone 3G, or an iPhone 2G, or an iPod Touch 1st gen, or an iPod Touch 2nd gen non-MC model, you can all be jailbroken on 3.1.2 untethered and also on 3.1.3 untethered. Um, I've done a tutorial with Snowbreeze. Uh, some people have problems, just got to keep trying guys, maybe try a different firmware link. Uh, there are some firmwares on our website and I'll put the link in the description. It is on the guide section. But just keep trying guys, that's all I can say, it works, it does work um, fine for me. And that's pretty much it guys. When Red Snow release their new jailbreak, which I'm hoping they'll do soon, I will uh, do a tutorial of course. But I hope that helped guys, so make sure to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next video. Peace.